So let's see what the super mine's able to do up there against Moabs. Oh, it obliterates Moabs. Hello, what is going on you guys? Today we're playing some Balloon Tower Defense Battles 2 and we're rocking this setup. <laughs> it's a super, super good setup. Do not get me wrong. It's a really good setup. And I think we're gonna place down our NG boy right here. And as you know, we're going right away for the balloon trapador. That's the plan right here. And thank you guys so much for, oh, look at this. He's smoking those guys over there. Oh, and we are back. Sorry about that. <laughs> thank you guys so much for all the support lately. We just hit over two, 200 subscribers, which is unreal. Thank you guys so much. And if you guys are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. All right, so we got the double shot going. I think we should have stopped it going a little earlier. Now I kind of do want to get the Benji up right away because as you know, as you level up the Benji, he gives you money every single round. So I think we're going to stop echoing here. And I think I'm going to place the Benji up actually. And we'll place him down in this corner right here. Why not? Now he's not really going to do anything right now. Maybe we will keep it going, actually. Because, yeah, we might as well keep it going. We're going to want to get our eco up and what we... Oh, I should <laughs> I should have put him in a different spot because we're going to put our dart link on her right here, actually. I was like, oh, we won't use this corner. So that'll be a good spot for him. Actually, we are going to use that for our dartling gunner, too. So we might as well get the dartling gunner now. And we'll just keep Spacey going. He's going the Spike Factory right off the bat. Wow. So this will be a really interesting game. He's also going the Spike Factory. Now our goal <laughs> is to get up all the all the Spike Factory upgrades this game. And as you know from the update, the fifth tier uh, top path, the Spike Mines upgrade, that just got a decreased cost. So it went from 130,000 to 110,000 instead. Now, I don't know if it's worth 110,000, not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't really think it is, but it's still a really good upgrade and it's really fun to use. We just love the Spike Factory. Probably probably my favorite tower in this game. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of really good ones, but I think the Spike Factory is my favorite. It's just so good. So I think we're gonna stop going here for now and we're just gonna go for the Spike Factory. Or not the spike factory, sorry. We're gonna go for the balloon trapador. We'll get that up right here, right now. And now we're gonna go back to space echoing. And then eventually we're gonna work our way to here. Why don't we have this guy shoot right down? Not right there. Oh, I don't even know where I want him to shoot because he's just gonna be popping everything right now, which is unfortunate. So let's try to have him shooting here, maybe. I don't know. We just don't want him to pop everything right away. That's the whole point of the Dartling Gunner shooting off the screen. But he's still hitting those balloons, so it doesn't look like it matters that much. All right, now we're dodging. And he's going to be sending some yellows right here. All right, we're definitely going to want to upgrade this guy a little bit. That was definitely a waste of a boost on his part. So we should be good on our side. It looks like he's gonna actually need a boost on his side over there. Now I did hear that a good way to prevent from the balloon trap being overwhelmed is by sending, or sorry, by upgrading him to the top tier as well. And getting the 2-0 bottom tier. 205, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not, but I will be trying him out this game as well. Now let's see, he's looking pretty good on his side. We're going to be trying to get our eco up as much as possible. We should have collected that a little earlier. See, look at how long it's taking for the balloon trap to spawn in. So we might be leaking a little bit right here. Nope, it looks like we're good. Oh, we might still be leaking. We'll find out right here. All right, we should definitely send him some lead balloons right here as well. And let's get the focus fire and the laser cannon up. And let's just keep sending some leads. We're for sure going to want to get the hydropods going here. And keep targeting that. Looks like I'm struggling a little bit. Just a wee bit. Nothing too bad though. So we're for sure getting the hydropods up right here. Right after this upgrade. Let's get up the hydropods right here. 
Now we're golden right there. And I think what we're also going to do is get down one of these and get this upgrade. So that way anything that comes over here will get decamoed. Now let's put the hydropods over there and let's go back to Maxi going. <laughs> we can send him a chat too. Oh, yeah. So he hasn't sent any balloons in a really long time, which is very concerning. I think what we're going to actually do is get up a sp our spike factory right here and let's just start upgrading him. We might as well. He really hasn't sent any balloons in such a long time and that's really concerning to me. So we're just going to keep upgrading him slowly but surely. So he's gotten his spike factory up, up there. He really should be going here. Now I love this hacking ability that Benji has. <laughs> it's super good because watch, there's going to be no little baby balloons afterwards. It just pops them all. It's super cool. Especially when it hacks a Moab, so then the Moab doesn't release any ceramic balloons either. It's super, super good. He has the perma spikes going. That's really cool. I can't believe his setup. He's he's actually going something very similar to me. We have two of the same towers right off the bat. I wonder if his third tower is the super monkey or what? I don't know what it's gonna be. I'm curious though. So I think what we're gonna do is go for the spike balls here. Actually, oh, I don't know. We, we might wanna go for the Moab Shredder. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for the Moab Shredder right now. And then what we'll end up doing is probably going for that Spike Storm as well right here. Because he still hasn't sent any balloons. He sold that Spike Factory to place him over here. He didn't like the spot. That costed him a lot of money. But let's see if he sends us a mob here. There's no point in sending him a mob. Absolutely no point at all. And there really is no point in sending me a mob either. Because we will be able to defend it. So he's back to ecoing, which is good to see. So we're going to move that. And see if he'll continue to fill up the balloon trap. It doesn't look like it. So we're just going to keep Maxi going. And trying to stall the rounds as much as possible. Because we really do want to build up our eco. So let's put him back here. <laughs> I know, we keep changing. It just depends on if he sends eco or not. He really should be sending eco, though. He needs to get his eco up. He's trying to eco as efficiently as possible without feeding my balloon trap. If I were him, I would just be feeding my balloon trap anyways. I would be max ecoing. There's no reason not to at this point. He needs to get his eco up in order to defend the later rounds, but it looks like he's, he's trying to just eco as efficiently as possible without feeding my balloon trap. That's one of the reasons to go the balloon trap though. It's a lot of people are afraid to feed the balloon trap, but honestly, if you're ecoing, you might as well feed it. Like there's, there's ways to be efficient while ecoing and not feeding the balloon trap, but he's kind of, he should just be max ecoing at this point. Now, I think what we're gonna do is go for another spike factory and I think we'll place him up here. Actually, I think we're going to hold off on that. And I think what we're actually going to go for is the rocket storms right now. And then on top of that, we're going to place some more spike factories back here, actually. Because this is a really good spot for them to be. Next to everything else. And I want the rounds to delay it as much as possible as well. Will we need to use a spike storm? No. We're good. So we're just going to keep Max Ecoing. And we're going to go for the spike balls right here. And get this guy up as well. Now let's see what the perma spikes are able to do to this uh, spike storm. Or sorry. Oh, it doesn't even get that at all. Wow. That's shocking. No, this is going to be really cool. Benji hacked this Moab. So watch what happens when this Moab pops. Just watch. Literally no ceramics. <laughs> no ceramics underneath at all, which is super cool to see. Now I'm not sure what this ability does. Uh, let's see. Oh, downgrades. Okay, that's really cool. So it'll downgrade any balloon up to a Zoh my God. So it'll downgrade a Zoh my God to a BFB if he were to send one. I think that's what that does. Oh, we have not been ecoing for a really long time. Holy cow. And we have a ton of money too. So what I might do, I don't know. Should I go for some more spike mines or should we go for some more spike factories? It's a hard one. He really needs to be max ecoing. He has no money at all. His eco is probably at like, I don't know, max a thousand, if that. Probably not even that high. But I think we're just going to get some more spike factories down right here. Two of them. 
and these will be spike storms when we need them. And I think what we're gonna do is actually go for the triple XL. I know, I never go for that right away, but I think that's gonna be the play. Now I'm tempted to use a spike storm, but no, it looks like we're good, especially because they're hacked. <laughs> Benji is so good. He's unreal. Super fun tower to use too. He really needs to be maxi going. He has no defense at all right now. I don't know what he's doing. He's just hanging out. I don't see him living that long. Oh, we sent one. So let's see if this works. Oh, it didn't downgrade it. Okay. I thought for sure it was going to downgrade that. So that did not happen. So what I think we're going to do is go for some spike storms right here. And I think we'll get some more right here. Let's activate these right now. And oh, that might be enough, actually. I guess we can activate one more, and that should be good. Actually, it, it's not good. Let's get down one more and rocket storm it as well. And now we're good. Holy cow, that pushed a lot more than I thought it was going to. So he's already sending some Zomai gods. I don't think he's planning on lasting very long. <laughs> I really don't. We already shredded that Zomai god layer right there. Holy cow. We are absolutely obliterating these balloons. Look at that, we already popped that one too. So we're gonna activate all these spike storms right here. And that just obliterated everything on the screen. Actually, oh no, it's still pushing a little bit. We're gonna activate one more, there we go. Okay, spike storms are just, they're too good. <laughs> they're unreal in this game. Now I do wish that we had the triple XL, we almost could have afforded it, but now we have literally unlimited spike storms. We have so many. And he still doesn't have any eco. He just lost so much eco, actually. So I don't know what his plan's gonna be. He's gonna be leaking soon, in all honesty. These mobs are pushing a lot more than I thought they would have. They won't get anywhere near the back part of the map right now, but they're still pushing pretty far. <laughs> like, they're not gonna get through any of this stuff. Now, I think what we're gonna do is go for the spike mines, actually. And actually, you know, we might go for that mad ability before we go for the spike mines. Let's just activate one spike storm right here to be on the safe side. It's better safe than sorry for that stuff. But it still looks like they were pushing a little bit. Now he still hasn't sent any eco balloons. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing on his side. But he can't be living that much longer. Especially when round 30 is coming. Now I... What he could do is do an all-out DDT rush, which isn't, I mean, it's not a good idea, but it's about all that he has right now, because <laughs> he really can't do anything else. Now, our Benji is level 14 already. His perma spikes are looking golden right now. Let's see if a perma spike, one round of perma spikes is able to handle a Moab. Let's just see if it's able to handle it. Oh, it can, wow. It handled it with ease too. It handled it better than three spike factories maxed up, or spike storms. That's actually crazy to me. So I think we're going to activate one spike storm right here. Yeah, we'll just activate one just to activate it. And I think what we're going to do is go for the triple XL here. Yeah, let's just go for the triple XL in case he feels like sending a DDT rush. Actually, you know what? We're not going to do it. <laughs> We're gonna go for the spiky spike mines and we're gonna go for the super mines right away. With the spike mines, we'll be able to handle any ceramic balloons that, is, that are sent our way. Now let's see if we're able to destroy this. Actually, let's see how he's able to do against this BFB, but we're not gonna use any spike storms here. And let's see if we're able to destroy it just on this bend. This is with three maxed out spike storms, I guess. And it looks like it's still pushing Okay, we pop that layer. Oh, they can almost defend it. All right, they couldn't quite defend it and it's hacked as well, but we'll be able to easily handle it there. He demolished that BFB way faster than we did. That's crazy to me, holy cow. That's actually insane. And he's destroying everything with the perma spikes right here. That's absolutely insane. Look at that. Like they're non-stopping, honestly. That's crazy. He still hasn't sent any eco at all, which is still insane. And his perma spikes are handling so much better than we are on our side. 
It's actually insane. So we're gonna go for it right here, actually, though. Right here, we're going for the spike mines. And we'll be able to see what the spike mines are able to do. Should we put the spike mines up here, actually? So we're gonna sell this guy. And we're gonna put the spike mines right here. Let's get that. And let's activate one more of these. We'll sell that and get the super mines right there. Boom, we have the super mines now. So let's see what the super mines able to do up there against Moabs. Oh, it obliterates Moabs. It's still so good. That's unreal. All right, we're gonna get some more spike storms down, but <laughs> he's, he's a little salty after that one. Yeah, that's so good. That's unreal. I don't know what he's gonna do on his side. You know what, we're gonna get a perma spike too, and we're gonna place the perma spike right here. Let's plop down our perma spike, and let's start to get him upgraded right here. The deadly spikes, we wanna go for the bigger stacks as well. I think you wanna go for the bigger stacks. It looks like he actually went for the other one. I could be wrong. Oh no, does he have the fifth tier perma spike down? No way, he had the fifth tier perma spikes down right there. That's crazy. I did not think that he would be able to afford that. He really hasn't ecoed at all. That's crazy that he was able to afford that when he did. All right, but the last thing that we're going to go for is the carpet of spikes. We have to get that up. Now, we have a lot more lives with him, and that's because of our Benji ability. Benji's ability is he gives you, I think it's 10 lives every round. I could be wrong. But it looks like the perma spikes a little, or the super mines. Oh my gosh, it's obliterating everything. It was glitched a little before though. So we're gonna get the last fifth tier upgrade, the carpet of spikes. We can't afford it right now, but I think we're gonna hold off on it because it's gonna have that rounds end super super quickly. We do want to get the triple XL for sure, and maybe we should get an overclock because it'll supercharge our balloon trap our triple xl but oh, you know what we should do instead of an overclock all right we're gonna get the overclock but we're gonna get the overclock and the ultra boost on our super mines so the ultra boost i think it lasts a uh, permanent boost look at that each time they are overclocked so that's super good and we're gonna get that on the super mines now let's see if the super mines is able to just obliterate this oh it just deleted it it literally deleted that BFB from the game. That's unreal. So he's starting to sell some balloons. Or no, he's getting up some spike factories still. Okay. That's unreal, though. It's literally just deleting everything in the game right now. It's such a good upgrade. <laughs> it's unbelievable. All right, so we're definitely going to get the ultra boost going up here. And we're going to get it on the... Um, our spike mines, our super mines actually, sorry. And he is still handling on his side. His his fifth tier spike factory, it's handling so well. Oh, I should be putting this on close by the way. That way they all stack up like his are. Someone else gave me that tip that I should have it on close for this. And you'll see, oh no, did he quit the game? Oh no, I have a feeling, oh, okay, we're back. Thank goodness, I thought he quit the game. It did the sinking thing. Okay, this is gonna get deleted either way because it was hacked, but <laughs> the spike mines literally acts as if everything is hacked anyways. <gasps> no! <laughs> he quit the game. All right. GG, we are gonna win that game anyways. GG, that was a really fun game. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.